Most of the people who enter this castle are tourists, but Janine Amberg is here for professional reasons. She started to train as a sales engineer here in Bad Mergentheim a few weeks ago. Janine is 19 years old. She's got another three years of studies ahead of her, but she's already on a payroll. Unlike at normal universities, the fees for the students at this technical college are paid for by companies. The new course was dreamed up by Wittenstein, a mechanical engineering company. It's desperate for personnel. It had 120 job placements that needed to be filled this year, and 25 of them are still vacant. Wittenstein's order books are full. The company produces standard motors and gears for applications in industrial, aerospace, simulation, and medical markets. The qualified staff we need just isn't available on the job market at the moment. It's really difficult to find engineers, especially sales engineers. So that's why we decided if we cannot find the people we need on the job market, then let's train them ourselves. Sales engineers are technically highly qualified sales staff. Part of the training takes place within the company. This is where trainees get detailed information on the products. Janine is one of the few women in Germany studying engineering, despite the fact that it leads to an interesting and lucrative career. Maybe they're simply afraid to go in this direction. It's a man's world, and maybe women feel they're in the background. And maybe they feel it's too much for them sometimes. But I think it's a challenge as a woman to get to know this sector. Wittenstein invests over 100,000 euros in each student, all in the hopes that the young engineers will stay with the company later on. It's proving to be excellent. The students already know the company and can get down to work straight away. They also have a close relationship to our company. That's perhaps the reason why we have such a low turnaround. They identify with the company on a much larger scale. But it's not just young people who are in demand. Older members of staff are encouraged to stay on. Georg Konstas is 67 and helped build up his department. He's glad his skills are still needed. It's a job that has a deeper meaning for me as a person. It isn't easy. I get here at 8 in the morning and leave at 4 in the afternoon. If it was just for the money, I'd have retired years ago. Wittenstein hasn't had to turn down any orders yet. It's always been able to deliver the goods to its customers on time, but the company is stretched to its limits. Turnover increased by 20 percent last year, and the trend is set to continue if they can find enough qualified staff.